In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we now call to mind our sins. And we apologize to God, saying together, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Mass today is being offered for the healing of Mildred Reckla, Amy Reckla, Lucas Balanjit, Eric Lopez, Norma Gaspar. Felicissima Castro, Kelly Tapacho, Zaid Zafo, Michael Mello, Robert Tardicilla, Perlina Quattro Chalki, Dennis Mark Rogers, Catherine Thompson, Teresa Oligario, Eveline Richard, Benam Fernandez, Krisa Jane Gabon, Jacqueline Robles, Antoinette Chavana Yagam, Angela Gonzalez, Isabel Martins, Aurelia Delara, Olivia C., Joe, Natalie Meyer, Chara Popel, Chelsea Dixon, Gabriel Lazari, Kiana Tran, Vernon Pingol. For the intentions of the 60th wedding anniversary of Lawrence and Marianne Trauzzi. Are you here, Lawrence and Marianne? No? If you're out there in Cyberland, congratulations. 60 years. Very impressive. Madge Solman family, Natalie Meyer and family, Abbe Bartolo and family, Benny Garces, Evelyn and Eugenio Cruz, Catherine Thompson and family, all volunteers in the parish. For the souls of Edwin and Avril Mendez, Fred Calvajo, Edmundo Joaquin, Victor and Violet Rodriguez, John, all souls in purgatory. We pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, who is God, second person of the Trinity, who lives and reigns with you, Father, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? It was before your eyes that Jesus Christ was publicly exhibited as crucified. The only thing I want to learn from you is this. Did you receive the Spirit by doing the works of the law or by believing what you heard? Are you so foolish? Having started with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so much for nothing? If it really was for nothing, well then, does God supply you with the Spirit and work miracles among you by your doing the works of the law or by your believing what you heard? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Canticle. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, Lord the God of Israel, who has come to his people. The Lord God has raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people. God swore that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord of Israel, come to his people. This is the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham, to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has Blessed come to his people. people. 
Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived, and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds, and for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, will give a snake instead of a fish? Or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? My brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Again, we continue to read from Paul's letter to the Galatians. It's a magnificent letter, very much demonstrating how Paul fights. Paul is famous uh, for arguing and fighting. Um, He's passionate. Um, Today, uh, he's passionate because they keep pointing out to circumcision and the importance of the law and the dietary laws. And Paul says, but that's not going to save you. Following the rules, doing the means, is not going to save you. It's staying focused on the end, which is important. I've said this to you many times as the pastor here. Focus on the end, not the means. That's why I put these two pictures up here. Focus on the end. Make a difference in this world. That's why the two pictures are here. I've had a number of people saying, Father, are you going to take these pictures down? No. Again, you know, people are confused. Catholics are confused. They don't understand. You know, trust me, I'll make you understand. Um, Allah St. Paul, I will make you understand. Okay, so here we have a guy giving food to the needy. Here we have a young woman on the construction site holding a pick, digging the ground. That day it must have been 130 degrees out there. One person made me laugh the other day. They they said, but Father, she's wearing shorts. Yeah, it was 130 degrees, she's wearing shorts. But Father, you're showing her legs. <laughs> Catholics are a funny bunch of people. They really are. They're so confused. See, let, let me explain in case you're confused, because a lot of Catholics are confused. In the time of Paul, mentioning pork and circumcision, is as foolish as mentioning her legs. Okay? Like, you're confused. You're confused. I understand why you're confused. My mother used to tell me stories as to why she didn't like priests. Because in her 20s, the priest would say to her before she went into the church, Wanda, your lipstick is too red. Take it off before you enter the church. So my mother dutifully would take off her lipstick. And then right after she came out of church, the lipstick went back on. Catholics are confused. Catholic priests, in that case, are confused. They're focusing on the exterior rather than on her heart. They're focusing on her legs like the priest focused on my mother's lips and her red lipstick. 
See, most Catholics don't know Jesus Christ. Most Catholics don't know their Bible. Most Catholics don't know God the Holy Spirit. So that's what they do. They focus on the exterior, not the interior. It's a classic mistake that Catholics make. Classic mistake. They don't know the Lord. They don't know Jesus Christ. They just don't. They're stuck in their archaic cultural norms of the past. Um, you know, they're stuck on the exterior because that's what the church did focus on. Women have to wear veils. You know, you, you have to dress a certain way, be a certain way. All exterior stuff meant nothing. You know, look at the status of the church today. Look at Quebec. We kept focusing on these things, and people just kept leaving and leaving and leaving, and we hunkered down and just kept talking about the exterior. Not the Holy Spirit, not the third world, the exterior stuff. And people just left because they said, this doesn't do anything for me. It just makes me feel bad. And so they left. And again, this is why, as a church, we need to wake up because we're stuck. Like, we're stuck with this old, old mentality of focusing on lipstick rather than focusing on the heart and God the Holy Spirit. That's how foolish we are. We need to, in a deep way, look at the heart, not the legs, at the heart. Instead, Catholics are fixated, like fixated on the exterior. And the result is that we are where we are. We're a disaster as a church, statistically, from the perspective of practice or life chain or, or abortion. Or We're confused as a people. So I said to the couples at baptism class this week, you know, you need to deprogram yourself from your baggage because you have baggage, okay? And and they need and a lot of this baggage came from priests, their grandparents, their parents. It's all a bunch of baggage that they need to get rid of because if they know the Jesus of the Bible, they would have trained themselves to read the heart, not the exterior. Like again, I can't tell you how many times. My mother said to me, because my mother loved dancing, and the priest would hear that a group of young people went dancing on Saturday night. So, you know, he would say to them when they came to church, I hear you went dancing last night. You should not take communion today, because you went dancing. And my mother heard all these things growing up. And so when I told my mother, I'm thinking of becoming a priest, my mother said, Mario, these people, like, they're so, like, like, out of touch with him. I go, I know, I know, ma, I'll fix it. At least I'll try to fix it, you know, I'll try. Um, and so I'm trying, you know, but there's still some people who are stuck, eh? They're fixed on it. Dancing, lipstick, shorts. They're just stuck. Old. Like, old. And they have no idea the damage that has been done in the church in the last 60 years. We've turned off all our young people. Like, again, I, I don't know how to emphasize it to you any better. We have turned off all our young people. Okay? I have five elementary schools. I have not seen 99% of the children for the last three years. And you want to keep talking about old stuff and turning them off even more? Father drums in the church. Oh, I don't know. It's the instrument of Satan. Old, so old. People are so old. 
and you're turning off our young people. Again, we need to update ourselves. And so, again, just like the gospel reading, I keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And again, people will wake up in this parish, just like they waked up in my last parish. They will wake up in this parish. They will know Jesus Christ. As you may think you know Jesus Christ, but like I kept saying to the baptismal couples, you only know the Canadian version, or maybe the Filipino version, the Indian version, the Italian version, because there's many versions. It's not just the Canadian version. You know, people have their own version of Jesus Christ who would focus on lipstick, dancing, and shorts. That's not the Jesus of the Bible. But because most Catholics never read their Bible, they don't know that. My mother would make me laugh with her stories about their priests. Implying, you're not going to become one of those, are you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Tom Collins, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. In a special way, Edwin and Avril Mendez, Fred Carvajal, Edmundo Joaquim, 
Victor and Violet Rodriguez, John, all souls in purgatory, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us all. Have mercy on us. We are supposed to see differently. I cannot express that enough in terms of putting that into action, seeing differently, seeing the interior, not the exterior that still looks like a cracker, but seeing the interior. But it's not just supposed to stop here, it's supposed to be when you go out there and see the people and not judge them via the exterior lipstick dancing. And that is why we kneel at Catholic Mass, which most Catholics don't understand. Because this is God, this is Jesus Christ to whom we kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring to everlasting life.
I told you some stories about my mother. There are many stories about my mother. That's why there were 800 people at her funeral. You don't get too many 93-year-olds with 800 people showing up at their funeral. When I told my mother I wanted, I was thinking, not wanted, this would have been three years before I entered the seminary. Mom, I'm thinking of becoming a priest. First thing out of her mouth, Mario, they look miserable. They look angry. They, 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 they don't seem happy. I raised you to be happy. Are you sure? They look miserable. That was my mother's conclusion about priests. Uh, why wouldn't that be her impression of priests? Um, take off your lipstick. Don't go dancing. You know, don't show your knees in church. Like, so fortunately, you know, the faith she shoved in was stronger than the negativity. Um, but yeah, she didn't like priests very much. <laughs> Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment that comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve God and each other. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God cast into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we set up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. God bless you all. Have a lovely day. I'll be exposing the blessed sacrament until 3.